the Knox translation of 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 6 reads like this. God has kindled a light in our hearts whose shining is to make known his glory as he has revealed it in the features of Jesus Christ. You remember that Gideon and his men not only had a light under a clay pot, they also had trumpets. There are some Christians who go around blowing their own horn, but if you're doing it in the dark, everybody wonders, what's that noise about? And there are other people who shine for the Lord Jesus, but never tell people the secret of that shining. You remember around the edge of the garments of the high priest, there were two objects. There was a bell and a pomegranate, a bell and a pomegranate all the way around the edge. And so everywhere the priest went, there was the sound of the bell, but there was also the pomegranate. I had a little pomegranate at lunch today. And what characterizes a pomegranate is that it's absolutely full of potential. All it is is seed, isn't it? But it's hard shelled and in order for the seed to reach its potential, that hard shell has to be broken. And so around the edge there was fruitfulness and testimony. Fruitfulness, what we are, and testimony, what we say, what we are and what we say. So this is important that we understand the balance between living and speaking. You remember the demon-possessed man of Gadara who was healed by the Lord Jesus. And he wanted to stay with Jesus. But Jesus said, no, I want you to go back to your family and friends. And one evangelist writes it this way, go and show what great things the Lord has done for you. But another evangelist says, go and tell what great things the Lord has done for you. So it's show and tell.